YouTube, it's your boy King Gaming. Welcome back to some NBA 2K15 My Career. Now you're probably wondering, why am I looking at game four of uh, round two of the playoffs? Now, that's because when I went to edit it, I realized that I messed something up and then I went in to re-edit it. But then when I rendered it, it was black screen and all of that. And there was no way for me to recover that file as I slammed it down in the paint right there. There was no way for me to recover the file. So, I just said, I'm just gonna post this. My fault for that. It's completely my fault. But, we're gonna move on. Uh, we are on the offensive side of things, and I'm calling for a screen from Tim Duncan. Getting around two defenders, slamming it down. After, um, after I get around the two defenders, there's nobody in the paint ever to stop me. Like, nobody ever comes over to help on defense. That, that, that's another thing that needs to be fixed in 2K16. Hopefully it is fixed in 2K16 as I get that easy lay-in. Being double-teamed right now, pass it over to Dragic. Dragic knocking down a three-point shot. That's for all the people who think I don't uh, pass the ball because uh, I... I Lately, I've been getting like 50 points, and I think I think the highest I ever scored on here that y'all seen was 74. Yeah, somebody somebody actually put a comment in the comment section. It was like, wow, knocking down the three-point shot right there. Nobody, nobody defend me on that three-point shot. Once again, nobody able to defend me on the three-point shot, putting one up once more. Calling for a screen from Caspi. Caspi setting a nice screen. They're bringing over the double team. I see it. Caspi don't disappoint. Caspi knocking down a three-point shot. And, and it's weird because before, when I came here, Caspi was just leaving. And then uh, then now he, he's back on the team. He wasn't really doing nothing when I first came here. As, as if, if you've been watching for a while, as I get that assist, if you've been watching for a while, you've seen that... Um, that when I got here, nobody was actually doing anything. We even had Dwight Howard on the team, but Dwight Howard actually eventually left and went to the Knicks. I, that was a horrible. That was a horrible choice of him. And Melo wasn't even there. I remember making a video, and the thumbnail said "Screw you." That they, that that. <laughs> That was hilarious. Slamming it down off of the fast break. You can you can see in my comments, in my 2K commentary, and I'm just reminiscing of the old 2K video. Oh, that should have been a steal right there, but slamming it down in the paint on, um, what's his name? Dang, I forgot his name. Oh, yeah, uh, dang, how, do I forget, how did I forget his name? Oh, my, oh, Ricky Rubio, Ricky Rubio. Getting that block right there on the fast break. But, yeah, as I was saying, you can see in my commentaries. Oh, knocking over Ricky Rubio. But you can see in my commentaries, I'm just reminiscing of the uh, 2K videos I've made over the year as 2K15 is coming to a close. And if I haven't told y'all yet, I'm, I will be getting that um, the special edition of 2K16 slamming it down in the paint. Getting around Ricky Rubio. Look at that right there. Look at that replay. Ricky Rubio, I don't even know why he's trying. And it's like, I, I, I said this against uh, when we were playing the Spurs. I said that, why is Tony Parker in the paint? But as I, oh, getting another block. But as I look back on it, it's every team that, that has that problem. Like, when, when the, why are the big men up at the top of the key and the guards are in the paint? Like, it, it makes no sense. But uh, that was a risky pass right there down to Caspi. Caspi. I, that should have been an and one too, but he's giving me that assist. All right, Watkins gonna pass it over to me, pulling up the three, knocking down the three point shot. Let's go. All right, now uh, you gonna pass it over to me, knocking down the three point shot with a perfect release. Two point five seconds left on the clock too. I tr I tried to get that buzzer beater, but uh, well, it wasn't it wasn't gonna happen. Like if I would have waited any longer, I wouldn't have got that three point shot off. And Watkins gonna knock down that three-point shot. Didn't get a chance to uh, talk about that when uh, he was actually doing it. But I see James Harden. I didn't. Act, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't see James Harden back there. I didn't see him. But I knew somebody was back there. Somebody was over there because I was counting how many people were in a certain area that I could see. And I was like, oh, James Harden must be open. And look at me slamming it down in the paint on like how many people? That was uh, darn near three people. I got around one person and then two people were in the paint. Like, it, it was ridiculous. Can't be stopped. James Harden knocking down the three-point shot. Basically throwing the dagger into, into this lead. Oh, my goodness. Did you, see, did you see that slam? 
I, like I was saying, James Harden basically threw the dagger into this game. We are going to win this game and advance to the next uh, part of the playoffs. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see my King Gaming Squad in the next one. I'm out. Peace.